Okay, what up, YouTube? Discharge daddies, standard enjoyers, Twitch chat, and friends alike. Uh, today we are going to be crafting on the five charge ring I hit the other week. Um, one of a kind ring, uh, the approximate cost to replicate. We did some basic math on some numbers. Uh, it would be in the range of several hundred mirrors. I think actually the exact number I came to was uh, 1,163 mirrors. Uh, assuming you had to recombinate it twice uh, it's the only three charge implicit ring in the game uh, and the first ever five charge ring hit on top of that as you can see here we've got the t1 crit multi from the essence um as a passionate and uh, discharge enthusiast over the years quite excited to hit this uh charge rings have always been something that has been somewhat of a uh, a passion and something i collect for myself you can see here just looking up the word charge for charge rings i've got about 15 of those so um, you know, we, we did want to uh, pursue this craft further, but it was kind of coming with an idea of what we we're going to do uh, today. I think I settled on a plan and we thought we'd record this here for you, uh, YouTube fellas, because uh, I know not all you get to watch along on live streams here. So what we're going to be doing, guys, um, we've got uh, two prefixes, the endurance and the power charge, one suffix with the multi unwilling to lose any of those. So we at no point are we going to ever have it so that we risk losing one of those in a permanent way. So uh, Given that we have one open prefix, there's really two options that we can choose from here that are sensible. One would be minus mana. Um, however, if we use minus mana, it prevents us from being able to use the Chimeria crafted mod, which is the uh, crit multi on shatter and crit chance. Uh, and that's going to be more DPS. So what we're going to want to put here, uh, which is more well-rounded anyways, is tier one life. So there's basically two options we have for tier one life. And that would either be to do uh, multi-mod prefixes cannot be changed, augment life. Uh, and that would give us a 1 in 9 chance, I believe. Uh, there's 8,000 waiting to uh, life uh, with 8 tiers, each one of which has a 1,000 equal waiting. So tier 1, which is 70 to 79, be a 1 in 9. <clears throat> and there's also uh, Fizz Damage, which is life, which is a 1,000 waiting. That's uh, the 8 tiers of flat life and then that 1 tier. Now the problem with that method is that 1 in 3 augments would remove the crit multi, which as I mentioned, we're unwilling to lose. So we would have to Eternal it before each attempt. Eternals are currently four mirrors each, so that would cost 36 mirrors on average to get the tier one life on there. Uh, that's not that bad given the overall cost of the ring on average so far. Um, however, uh, we're going to try and find a better way. Using Hitakora's locks, um, I think that we can make it a little bit cheaper. So what the method and the strategy is now, as you guys can see here uh, on standard, I picked up about 20 Hitakora's locks over the past couple days. Um, they are going at, uh, let's see here, I'll pull this over on the screen quickly. They're going at about 350 divines each on standard. Uh, so we're looking at um, approximately, the, the, it's not quite two to one mirror, it's a little bit less than that. But for argument's sake, let's say that this is probably about 11 mirrors worth of Hinakora's locks. Um, and if, if we go further, what we're going to be doing here um, is exalting for it using the locks, right? So what we've put on is our crafted mods, our three crafted modifiers can't roll attack mods. The reason for that being that a large amount of the prefixes on rings are in fact attack mods. If you see here, we've got Craft of Exile up. Uh, here are the total modifier pools. And if we do non-attack, you can see that it removes a good deal of the options. The weighting doesn't change proportionate to how many there are, but it does significantly improve the odds. So we can see here that the total weighting is 43,000 uh, and life is a 1,000 weighting. So it is going to take 43 exalted orbs on average which means that it would take of course 43 locks now i know that for recording youtube videos it uh it's often uh only really done in hindsight and not live like this so uh for those of you watching on youtube uh this may not actually work out uh and so hopefully it's a highlight hopefully this is a highlight video but if not at least uh you know you can kind of craft along in the process here uh, and see how that goes uh with that being said uh there's not really much else to say other than to uh to get at it uh, as i mentioned we've got 20 locks so again we have just under a 50 percent chance um given the average range and uh yeah hope, hopefully we do well uh, another little side note here I, I do have the gilded fossil on here so each time that we don't get the hinakara's lock to work uh, i'm gonna hover over with a vol orb just to see for just for argument's sake just to see if we can get a cool uh hypothetical uh mod to fill in that uh, gilded fossil there uh, anyways let's get to it uh wish me luck boys All right, so you can see here, we've got uh, tier four ES. No effect on that. Uh, 
Uh, and the best thing I think for us to do is we're going to have to just use a Divine Orb. Uh, we can't use a Blessed Orb here because there's no ranges on the uh, Implicit. Uh, and so because it can't ch change the, the range, it won't uh, do anything. All right, so Tier 7 Evasion. No effect on the second Vol Orb. Tier 1 Evasion. No effect. Tier 2 Evasion. Again, no effect. Tier 11 mana. Again, no effect. That's 5 down. <laughs> uh, tier 11 DS. Giga Chad mod. All right, here's the first ball orb that would have done something, and that's just uh, turns into a random rare. Tier three ES, the best uh, best one so far. No effect. Tier five evasion rating. This changes it into a random rare, and I'm not going to lie, that's actually a pretty sick rare. T1 life, T2 uh, elemental damage with attack skills, T1 attributes, T1 rarity, T1 recoup, Tier 3 lightning. Obviously, we're not going to pick that. That is not a bad rare, though. Bad rare at all. That tier 7 mana. All right, number 10. We haven't even had life show up yet. It's, that's pretty rare considering. Um, life has a 8,000 out of 43. So one in five would be a life mod normally. Uh, tier six evasion there. No effect. All right, we're in our second half. Bummer evasion roll again. Oh, there we go. There's our first implicit anger aura effect, but it replaced the uh, power charge. Yes, again. Uh, tier 5 yes this time. Changes to a rare. Tier 2 evasion. Oh! It, again, it didn't replace the item sold for more to a vendor. But, uh, dude, can you imagine? Frenzy charge, power charge, endurance charge, 7-7. Seven, seven. Or, like, oh, or actually, the rarest would be, uh, blue to, uh, bl blue to, <laughs> bleed immune. That'd be nuts. Alright. Evasion again. No effect. Alright, number 15. Oh, there's life for the first time. Tier 4. Tier 4 life. Tier 1 rarity. Fucking get your MF characters ready. Alright, uh
Mana. Rare. All life again. That every life, uh, just so you guys know, there are eight tiers of life. Uh, tier one being 70 to 79. They're all equally weighted. So we've had life show up twice now. Each one of these times life shows up, it is of equal likelihood that it will be the uh, the tier one life. So take some solace in that. All right, last two. Oh, bummer. Life again. No effect. Last one. All right, YouTube. Uh, bummer, ES. And we got global physical damage on the last implicit. All right. Well, unfortunately, we didn't uh, we didn't hit it there. Uh, as I mentioned, it's a one in forty three. Uh, for the folks on YouTube, uh, I might be able to borrow or like I usually make around five to ten mirrors a day on standard. Um, there are quite a few Kinokoras locks available for sale. Um, I actually gave five mirrors to my guildmates uh, yesterday just for helping me out with crafting the bow. Uh, I lost 61 mirrors the day prior trying to craft the bow suffixes out. Um, I do know that there's there's quite a few locks available. This one guy's got six of them. This guy's got seven. So we might be able to make another crack at this today uh, if I get a couple mirror services and or if... Uh, if I can just get, get somebody to lend me somebody to do uh, to do these in the short term, so uh, follow through. Unfortunately, we didn't get to uh, we didn't get to hit it live on uh, live on recording here. But uh, stay tuned for the fellows on YouTube. Uh, we will be back and we will get this ring done. Belt in peace.